you did get the chance to catch this. We have three yeah. rom-coms that came out this week. I'm sorry, Zach. To me, this was the most boring one. Tell me what you thought. Your place or mine on Netflix. Yeah, this is definitely a very boring one. I mean, it's one of those f- films where it's like very clearly famous people pretending to be relatable rather than just like being relatable, Ugh. if that makes any sense. Just Reese Witherspoon yeah. and Ashton Kutcher never feel like actual people. I felt like this script, while while I, I think that there's a solid like structure, I think the whole idea of them sort of swapping lives and swapping homes is is a cute premise for a rom com. Everything that they say, everything that they do, feels so lifeless. It kind of feels like they had an AI watch other rom coms and try to write a script. Like it just doesn't feel like things like like real human emotions ever. Um, it's mostly real estate porn, like single parent wish fulfillment. And <laughs> Bro, like maybe say, that has beautiful, a though, yeah. They, live. <laughs> they have amazing home i i really want ashton's new york city apartment i i'll never the be able to afford it but i want it that's crazy yeah i don't know um i thought that there was one solid comedic bit in the movie and it happens in the last scene of the film when they're on the walkways in the airport uh but it is mm-hmm. absolutely not worth watching nearly two hours of this to get to one decently funny moment yeah, I think it's in the title. Uh, it's all about the locations. <laughs> you care about yep. the places more than you care about them. Uh, and sadly, that's how it felt like for me. And I feel really bad because partly him, but especially her. Reese Witherspoon has always been, I felt, the like rom-com queen from the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. So uh, different times, but we'll see. Your place or mine over on Netflix. Yeah. If you in have the live stream comments, Rene is pointing out Tignataro and Steve Zahn are in this. It has a They're really good. solid cast, like enough of a solid cast. It might trick you into enjoying bits of this movie, but it's it's just not it's not good. Zoe Chow also in this one. Also in there, yeah. Um, but Rachel uh, Bloom. I thought, briefly, I thought it was yeah, okay for no what good. it was. It, it's reminding people that you can't rely on celebrities. You're going to have to rely on a good story as well. <laughs>